Well, good morning, everybody. I am so glad to have you here with us today. Remember the first thing we do when we walk into chapel is very quietly. We come to our pews and uh, kneel down just like this. Fold our hands and bow our heads and say a quiet good morning to God, thanking him for all the wonderful things that he has done for us this week. And then when you're finished, just sit back in your pew very quietly. If everyone could stand up now this morning, we will sing our processional hymn of Praise Him. And all right, that's right, everybody, everybody hold our hands up like this. Here we go. Praise Him, praise Him, all ye little children, God is love. today so let's move right over here to it yes here we are and it's coming through Easter now we're in the season of Pentecost and now you have to help me count now we're starting to get up there but still we don't have to do our breathing exercises yet the seventh Sunday of after Pentecost so help me count now one two three four five six seven we have the seventh sunday after pentecost <clears throat> i'm gonna i want to go ahead and see if you guys have ever played this game before i remember when i was this big like this we used to go ahead and play this game too and the game is called Hide and Seek. Yes, I'm sure a lot of you have gone ahead and played that game before. I remember we would go and play that game, and um, there's a number of different variations. Some of them, would, they call it, it's called Kick the Can. There's one variation. So what you have, or what you get, is like a can. It's like this. And you have one person that's it, and you have all your friends that are out there. You know, you have five, six, seven, ten, or you can have the whole neighborhood there with you. And that could be a number of different people. And what ends up happening, the can goes on the ground. You can't see it, but it is there. And then if I am it, I have to close my eyes and count to like, I don't know, 25 or 50 or something like that. And then everybody goes and runs out there and hides somewhere. And after I go 24, 25, ready or not, here I come. And now it's my my choice. I've got to go and find where everybody else is. That's right. I've got to find them all. And what they do, and I start walking away from the can. i got to walk away from the can. And I go ahead and find somebody. And I've got to run back there first. And i got to kick the can. Sometimes we didn't have cans back when I did. The other thing we did is we had a big tree too. So when we found somebody, we had to race back. And if I touch that tree, 
before anybody else did, I was still safe. So, and then when you get the last person over there, if somebody come in there, you know, and uh, beat, you know, beat me, then I would still be here doing one, two, three. I'd still be the person who had to run everybody down. But if I beat somebody and kick the can first and touch the tree first, whew, I was one that was able to go out and hide. Oh, I know we've done that, played that uh, game before a number of times. I have even, I have even played it with my grandchildren. They're about your age, too, just about like this. And we played, played like that. And I'd hide in the closet, and I'd hide under a tent and all these different places. Well, that kind of brings me up to a story that I remember. Um, do you think anyone in the Bible ever played hide and seek? Let's think if you can remember. The first one oh, starts real early in the Bible. In the book of Genesis, remember Adam and Eve. They were in the Garden of Eve. They were just loving it. They, were, they had no worries or anything else. And then one day, they picked an apple from the tree and ate it. And all of a sudden, they started looking around and they said, we've, we've done something bad. We weren't supposed to do that. And then all of a sudden, they started looking around. They started moving away, going back and forth like that. And they said, oh my gosh, God's going to come. We better hide. We better go and hide like that. Well, you know, they went ahead and hid from God. But did God find them? Of course you, he did. You can't hide from God. And there's another one in there. Oh, I remember this other one. Oh, this one. Okay. Can everyone go ahead and do this? That's right, that's a fish. Do you remember a story about a person in the Bible whose name was Jonah? Yeah, I, you'll, you'll remember him in a second if, if you hadn't heard of him. Well, God asked Jonah, or God went ahead and asked Jonah if he would go to Nineveh, a small town there, um, not far from where he lived. And he said he wanted them to people, God was sending Jonah for the people to repent or be sorry for the sins that they have created. And so Jonah said, okay, I'm go, I'll go, God. He started going there and goes, oh, man, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go there. He's not gonna know if I'm going or not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hide. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go, and I'm going, I gotta go that way to Nineveh. I'm going this way over here, get going. So he started walking all the way over there and he left. Well, did God find him? Sure he did, because you can't run and hide from God. You remember where Jonah found himself? That's right, in the belly of a big whale. And even the Bible tells us that God chose David. David was a chosen person from God, but God loved him so much. And even David went ahead and did some things that weren't very nice. And he went ahead and uh, tried to hide from God. Did God find him? Yes, he did. He did. You can't hide from God. So, none of us can hide from God. He knows all about it. He knows what we're going to say even before we're going to say it. He even knows what I am saying before I'm going to say it. He even knows what I'm going to do before I even do it. So it's foolish to play hide and seek from God. Besides, the reason God comes and sees us or looks for us is because all he wants to do is to love us. He wants to bless us. So why would you hide from God when all he wants to do is wrap his arms around you and give it his blessing? So remember at night when we go ahead and say our prayers, maybe we might, might want to say, Father, we are thankful that even though you know everything about us, you love us anyway. Thank you. Amen. All right, let's everybody see if we can find the, uh-oh, uh oh can you hear this? Yep, there's that can, I'm kicking out of the way. So let's everybody see if we can go ahead and find our little, 
telescope here. Let's put our pinky up and we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. We could all kneel down together, fold our hands, and let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Thank our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So if we could all go ahead and stand up there. I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your time with us this morning. And we are going to um, say our closing prayer and extinguish the candles this morning. So... Everyone can remain standing. Say, May God's Holy Spirit send the light from the altar into our hearts to help us to say kind words and to do kind deeds through Jesus Christ. Amen. So, we're going to have our recessional song this morning. Mr. Eric, what is our recessional song this morning? Oh, Mr. Cool Eric, look at that <laughs> over there this morning. What is our recessional song? He's got the whole world in, in his, his hand. hand. Outstanding, thank you. All right, everybody stand up, here we go. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the whole world. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you always. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week.